Hello, welcome to Grow New Plants. Today I'm going to propagate some blue grama grass. This is a native grass in the United States and it, it's it got a real fine leaf. I think it's also called a mosquito grass and it only gets like maybe about two feet tall and it's it's really cool looking. It's kind of delicate looking and it's got these really neat looking seed heads on it. Okay, so looking at these seed heads to see when they're ready, you see one hit right here. This is one that's not really ripe yet for for coming out, the seeds will not come out. If you kind of rake them back like that, the seeds stay in place. And if you come over here, here's one here that is ripe. And if you rake on that, I'm trying to do this with one hand here. So if you kind of rake that one around, you can see all the little seeds pop off. See the little seeds in my hand there. So I'm gonna collect a bunch of seeds off of this thing and then uh, we'll go back to the backyard nursery and then we'll start planting them. Okay, so now I've got my trays here and what I've decided to go with is I've got 60 cell, 60 cell root maker trays, 32 cell root maker trays, and 18 cell root maker trays. And then if I have enough soil, I'm gonna do another one more 60 cell tray. So I've got all my seeds, I collected a lot of seeds. I don't know how well you can see those, but I got a lot of seeds. So I've got my soil mix, and I, I did my normal soil mix, kind of. I did a little more peat moss than what I normally do in my soil mix this time. And that's just because I've never grown grass seed before. So this is kind of new to me. So we're going to see what happens. So I'll fill these things up real quick. I'll fast forward through this. Just take me a minute. I'll go ahead and fill all these cells up. Okay, so I probably could not have gotten any closer to filling up all four of those trays, the amount of dirt that I mixed up. So, what I'm gonna do, some of these cells are a little low too, but it's not gonna matter. I've got more than enough. They don't have to be completely full. I just need them to germinate and start growing. So, I'm not gonna get real scientific with this. I'm just basically gonna go in there and put what I consider a decent amount of seeds across all of these. And you can probably put, put less seed, you can probably put more seed, but all I want, I just want to get some grass growing in here. And once it gets growing, it'll start spreading and dividing itself. And it's just like any grass, it'll, once it starts growing, it'll grow. It'll clump itself up. Well, some of these I got a whole lot more in than, than others, so. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll fast forward through this too. I'm gonna go ahead and do this across all these cells. So I got all my seeds in here and ideally I was gonna put another little thin layer of soil right across the tops of these, but I'm out of soil now. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of come in here. And I'm just gonna kind of gently mash all these down where they're making good seed or good contact with the soil on all of these. And then I'll come in and water them very gently and then hopefully they'll bury themselves enough to germinate. I don't know that they really need to be covered up even. I mean, you think in most normal grass seeds, you just spread it out on the ground. You don't cover it up. You can, I mean, you can take it. You know, like if you're putting Bermuda seed in your yard, you can go in there and 
you know, throw it out on the ground and then take a rake and kind of rake it up. And all that's really doing is just help keeping it moist. All these seeds really need is just enough moisture to help them to germinate. And once they germinate and put a little root down the ground, they're good to go. So I'm gonna get my uh, water hose and then uh, I'll try and do a little bit of lot water on them. Okay, and I got my little dram uh, water head here. So I'm just gonna go really light and just very, very lightly go over those. That's enough to, enough to wet them down good, but not enough to float them. I don't want them, I don't want to get them so wet that they float up. Now, one thing I did do in my preparation of my soil is I wetted my, my potting soil mix, which I think I've mentioned this before. It's, it's about 50% uh, perlite, 50% perlite, 50% perlite, 50% peat moss is my normal mix, but I put a little more peat moss than perlite in this mix. And just because I wanted to have good soil contact. The perlite is mainly for aeration, and I don't know that aeration is really that important for these. Once they start growing, they should be fine. They can grow in pure clay. Sorry, my dog's going to decide to play with this food bowl over there. So that ought to be good. That ought to be good there. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't I don't really think that's necessary. I'm looking at some of these seeds are kind of floating on top, but just kind of tapping them down. I may go ahead and do that. I'll just kind of play with this one while I'm talking to you, but uh, I'll probably go ahead and do that, kind of tap these down just to make sure those seeds got good contact with the soil. Any of them that maybe floated up or just sitting on top of that perlite. So anyway, so I'm hoping, like any grass, I would think a week to 10 days, something like that, these things should start germinating. So I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna post this video until they germinate. So we will come back hopefully in 10 days or less whenever these things start germinating and take a look and see what they're doing. Okay, I think I said in the first part of this video, I was gonna wait about 10 days and see what these did they start start germinating they did actually start germinating in 10 days but they grew a little bit slower than what i thought they would uh they did okay they didn't do great the all these in the smaller pots few of them maybe made it and i think what happened is it was such a small amount of dirt that they were so sensitive to the moisture levels that if they dried out at all they just wilted and died so i got probably one out of these two pots here that i'll take and I've got quite a few of these that'll make good plants and a few of them are real small, so I'm probably gonna bunch some of them together. But I'm gonna go ahead and pot them up into one gallon root makers. And like I said, they were free seeds. So my goal here is just to try and get a couple good sized pots going into next year. And then from those, I can take them and divide them out and start making new plants that way and go away from the seeds. Okay, so I got my one gallon root maker pots here and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out first. Some of these other ones still got green in them, but I just don't know. It's got a decent little root system to it, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one in a pot. Tell you what, I'm going to get rid of this tray because I'm not going to use any more of these little ones. Now my, uh, I had a 18 cell trays and 32 cell trays, and these both did fine with them. So I think next time if I do this again, I'll do the 32 cell trays. I can get more plants that way, and there's enough dirt in there to help them germinate properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get several other of these I so said the roots are they're okay they're not great but they're okay so i'm gonna see if i can get like maybe three of these smaller ones in here and just kind of bunch them all up together and i'll add some soil around them these big barks bark chunks i don't want those in there So there's three little ones together. Hopefully those will grow up and they'll make a pretty decent sized bunch. Okay, so that's one of them that I just took and made, made one out of several smaller ones. So let's go ahead and take one of these. This one here, this one here did really good. It had two good sized bunches that came up. Got a pretty good sized root system. So that'll, that should make a really nice plant. 
And I'm hoping these things, you know, I think I planted the seeds a little bit late. Yeah, I think they might have done better if I'd have planted them earlier in the year, but I think they'll be fine. They should survive through the winter. And then uh, in the spring, I'll clip them back down to the ground and hopefully they'll come up and start spreading pretty nicely. I mean, they, you can see what they already did this year. So I think they'll fill these pots out in a year. Let's take another one of these. That's one of the 18 cells. See, these things filled out these 18 cell trays. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing here. And uh, I will fast forward through planting the rest of these up and then we'll take a look, see how many we ended up getting. Okay, so I got them all planted up now. Some of them I put a bunch, like this one here, I put several different smaller ones in there. Some of them were the bigger clumps, or just a single clump. But they're all, I think, I think by next spring when these things put out a flush of growth, they'll probably fill out these pots pretty good. And hopefully next year I can get at least one, maybe if I'm lucky, two divisions out of these. I ended up with 14 out of them. I planted a lot more than that, but obviously I didn't get a great germination rate. And you know, it's like, I want to, Every time I do something like this, I'm hoping I have great success because then it makes me feel basically guilty that I filmed something like this and I wasn't super successful with it. Like I didn't really teach you anything, but you're not always gonna be successful with plants. You don't have that much control over it. You can do what you can do, but it's still up to the plants and the weather and all the other factors on whether they're gonna do good. So still happy. I got 14 pots of these that I didn't have before. I really like this grass. It's very cool looking. And I feel confident that these will take off and I'll be able to divide them out next year. So next year I could have many as 50 to 100 of these things just off of these seeds that I planted. So it didn't cost me anything. Well, it cost me some dirt and fertilizer, but other than that, it didn't cost me anything. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. I will do an update on these in the spring after they uh, put out their new flush of growth. And I've got, I think just one more thing left this fall to plant or to transplant. I've got a bunch of liriope. Uh, that are doing great that I need to get potted up into one gallon pot. So I'll do that video and then I got a video coming up with a with a rose hip, a fertilized rose hip that I'm gonna collect for seeds. And then I'm gonna do some seed videos, seed collection videos too this fall. And then of course getting the greenhouse finished up. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.